Top 10 race day tips coming at you. Welcome back to the Power of Public YouTube channel. Today's video, we're gonna be running you through our top 10 tips for race days. Thanks to everyone that has been subscribing lately. We've really been blowing up here on YouTube and we really appreciate all you guys hitting those like buttons, subscribing and turning on those pesky notifications. Don't forget to follow us on Instagram and Facebook if that's your thing. And we've got heaps of tips over there too. Shout out to, to all the Patreons out there. We really appreciate all the support there that really helps us keep these videos come. So let's get straight into it. Top 10 tips for race days. Tip number one, know the rules. When you're going out there and you're racing, you need to know the rules so that you don't get any sort of silly infringements. They're gonna give you a 10 second penalty, five second penalty. You know, we've got the drop down bumpers. You need to know about how to do a start, how to do the restarts, uh, full course yellows. Okay, there's some idiosyncrasies to racing that you wanna know the ins and outs of so you don't get stuck with a penalty that could move you back down the grid and into all the action that you don't wanna be. We're trying to win races here, so we wanna be starting off those front two rows if we can, and we wanna do everything that's in our power, like knowing the rules, so that we don't get any silly penalties and we can always start on our best position. Also too, on that, rules change depending on if you're doing some club day racing, state titles, or pro tours, AKCs, that sort of thing, championship racing. So make sure that you read up those supplementary regulations and you know your rules for the race meeting that you're attending. Tip number two, know your flags. So you're out there, you're racing around and say you get a, a black flag, okay, that means you've got to come into the pits. Sometimes you might get a black and white flag, which means go and see the officials after the race. Now, if you were to come in with the black and white flag, okay, you're going to get classed as a DNF and it's going to give you the full bag of points and it's something we don't want to do. So there's some idiosyncrasies there with the flags, so make sure you read up and you know exactly what all the flags mean. Tip number three, limit risky moves. Okay, so what we're saying here, when you're making passing opportunities in your racing, if you haven't done it before, you wanna pass on the inside or nothing. Because as the competition gets better, the train or the mountain go-karts in a line, uh, it gets deeper in the bigger races, okay? And what you're gonna find is if someone goes up the inside to pass you and you don't get out of the way and fall back in line, you might lose five, six, 10 spots even because there's 10 go-karts all on that train and no one wants to let you back in. So if someone goes up your inside, you need to yield on that passing opportunity and get back in the line so you can have another shot at them. And also too, you don't wanna to go to the outside. So if you're third in the line and the second guy goes to pass for first, you need to go with him and not try to you know, go around the outside to get a run off the corner because five other guys could go up the inside of you. So it's a real game of cat and mouse and you need to play it safe, especially in the heat races. Obviously the last lap of the final is a little different because it's all out, you're really going for that victory. But if you're in the heat races, pass on the inside or not at all. And also too, we don't win it on the first corner, we win it on the last corner. So realistically, you know, in a long race, 10, 15, 20 lap race, say we're doing a final, you need to be in the game on that last lap. So you need to really limit those risky maneuvers in the early parts of the race. Tip number four is knowing the fast line. Okay, so you've been doing some club day racing and you've been getting pretty good and now it's time for your first championship event. Okay, it's not uncommon to sort of race yourself backwards because you're pre-programmed with the things that you've learned over the previous experience and you're going to go out and do the same things and we've got to change the go-kart to, to suit and we end up changing everything but it, sometimes it is just knowing the fast line so you, at the championship events those fast drivers they're all hitting the exact same point every lap and the track gets very clean and fast on that racing line now if you miss it there's some uh, say dirty black rubber like this photo and as you can see in the photo there's that darker line. Now, if you're out there on that, you're gonna pick up some of the rubber and your tires are not gonna be primed and clean and fast. So you really need to stay inside that fast lane. And to do that, sometimes you might have to turn a little bit early, roll in a little hot. Okay, there's some little things you might have to adjust to. So you really need to know what to look for on those championship day tracks. Tip number five is plan your changes. So what we wanna do is we wanna know 
when to change our go-kart for the day. So we've got the 10 o'clock, the two o'clock, and the five o'clock changes. So obviously at 10 o'clock, the track is fresh. It's not so hot, but it's starting to warm up. Two o'clock, the track's as hot as it's gonna get. It's very hot and greasy, can be quite sticky too. And then at five o'clock, the track's starting to cool down again. So we need to adjust our tire pressures or our go-karts to suit those different times of the day. So know when to change by previous practice. Also too, like reading the day, if it comes overcast, obviously the track's gonna cool down. And try not to change too much. Plan out your day and try to stick to your plan. And if it doesn't go well, we can go home and assess, but just throwing everything at the cart in between one race to the next is probably not a great solution. So try to plan out your race day. Straight into tip number six is know your changes. Okay, so you need to go out and practice, especially before those big events. Some of those changes that you're gonna think that you're gonna have to do at the championship race, like to free up the cart because it's sticky, or you know, like you need excessive amounts of understeer, these little things that we're gonna have to sort of get our way around. And some of those things are like, you know, you're adding your front bars, you might be changing axle grades, moving seats, changing ride heights in the front or the rear, you know, your tire pressures as well. And you wanna to go to the track and get some really good data and really good research. And actually the driver needs to feel what the changes do so that when he's out there on the race meeting, oh yeah, yeah, that's right. I had this problem, I applied this solution and it gave me that outcome. And it's as simple as that. You're just building up a database in your mind and on paper as well, because you're documenting your results from your testing and the things that you found help fix your go-kart. All right, so tip number seven is data and GoPro footage review. So when you're at the track, make sure you've got a Micron, if you haven't already, uh, or an Alfano, and you're really starting to log some data against some of your best laps. And also too, you've got a GoPro or action camera on the front of your car, so you can get close to some of those faster drivers and really video where they're going through the corners so that you can start to lift your game as well. Now, if you are at the front and, and you're, you're the leader, you can actually review your own laps to make sure you're hitting all the points that you wanna hit. So there's nothing left on the table. You know, you're really extracting the maximum out of your car. Tip number eight is a little dichotomy here and it is don't just change your car because of everybody else. So in the last point, we're talking about getting some data and also to reviewing the GoPro footage. Maybe you're having problems with the with a certain corner and you might video that fast driver and start to take some of his things on board. Well, you don't wanna just go around the whole pits and asking absolutely everybody what they're doing with their car, axle grades, gear ratios, jetting, because they're not really solving your problems. You wanna highlight your problems, apply your solutions to get the best outcome for yourself. So try not to worry too much about what everyone else is doing and worry about yourself. Tip number nine is never give up. You don't know what sort of after race penalties are gonna be dished out. You got drop down nose cones, faulty starts, 10 second penalties. So you really wanna race hard to the checkered flag every time you hit the track. And then you just never know what's gonna wash up at the end of the race. So tip number nine is never give up. The last point is tip number 10 and you wanna review your race weekend. So after the emotion of the event, you wanna go home and sit down for 10 minutes, have some quiet time with yourself and just reflect on the weekend and try to imagine there was another race after the final and what you would do to fix your problems if you had another shot at it. So whether it was understeer, excessive, you didn't read the time of the day, it could be something as simple as a tire pressure. Obviously the finals are a little bit of a longer race. Maybe the cart still came on too quick or it went off too fast, whatever. Um, but if you just review what you did, maybe with some of your GoPro footage as well, and also too with your Micron data, you can start to overlay some of the data from the finals to your qualifying heats when you had brand new tires versus obviously degraded tires on the hot sticky afternoon track of the final. And you might start to see a pattern forming. And then next time you are armed with some information about yourself on how to make an improvement. So really, after you have a race weekend, make sure you review your results. So there you have it, 10 tips for race days. If you like this video, please consider subscribing, giving us a like, and turning on those pesky notifications. You can follow us on Instagram and Facebook at Power Republic. You can go to our amazing website, powerpublic.com.au, grab yourself a t-shirt, or some race day essentials. Thanks for watching, see you in the next video.